Let's see now why we have to study this chemical kinetics. See, you may have seen rusting of iron. See here, bolt is getting rusted. Study of chemical kinetics tells us at what rate this bolt get rust, at what extent bolt will get get rust, and uh, in by increasing the temperature, whether how much rate will increases. All these things, this uh, rate or speed of this reaction will be deal with this chemical kinetics. See one more example: spoilage of tomato. See, by studying chemical kinetics, we come to know uh, how much time it will take to get spoil, at what rate it is getting spoil, and by increasing the temperature, its uh, spoilage rate will increases. And how how we can avoid this spoilage by keeping it in the refrigerator that is at low temperature. So all these things will be come to know as by studying chemical kinetics. See one more example: converting diamond into graphite. You may wonder that diamond, uh, how it will convert into graphite? It is impossible, as usually we think. But it will convert naturally, but it will take millions of years. That time to convert diamond into graphite will be predicted by studying chemical kinetics. So. Chemical kinetics tells us at what rate or speed of speed a reaction taking place, and how much time that reaction takes to complete the uh, reaction. Uh, watch next part of the video to know about slow reaction, fast reaction, and moderate speed reaction. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel to get more videos, like the video, share the video and spread worldwide to help others.